everyone welcome to web coding i hope you all are doing good today we are going to see an interesting topic of constraints as assertions and actions as triggers without any delay we can move on to the topic today's topic is constraints as assertion and actions as triggers okay in this our first we are going to see about the constraints then we are moving to the triggers okay what is constraints as assertions it is very important topic in dbms right in constraints as assertions we have the two events the one is name and the another one is condition name and then condition okay here the, what we are going to do we are going to give one condition suppose we have a table with the with the attributes of employee salary at the same time supervisor salary okay in this we are going to give the condition that is that employee's salary always less than supervisor salary right we are going to give one condition that is employee salary should always less than the supervisor salary supervisor salary this is what the assertion is okay just we are going to do this by giving the conditions okay let me show an example here we have sorry this trigger okay here we have the condition what is the condition the salary of the employee must not be greater than the salary of the manager right of the that particular corresponding department what we are going to do we are going to create one assertion with the name of salary constraint okay we are going to give one constraint with the name of salary salary constraint then it will check not exist from the employee table okay it will check the it should be that is department manager salary always greater than employees salary right this process we are going to give one condition then we are going to check this condition this assertions or this constraints will be taken care by dbms will be taken care by dbms the dbms is going to do this work and provide an output to us right this is all about constraints okay okay we are giving a condition like we are giving the condition as like this if what if what happen while the employee's salary greater than supervisor's salary then what happen okay it is a violation right while this situation is occur the, we are calling this situation as triggers we are using triggers at this situations okay when this situation is occur we are using triggers okay in the triggers while the given condition is violated the given condition is violated okay the message is the given condition is violated we need to call someone right we need to call someone that person is going to take and care what will be the next step through that particular attribute right here if the given condition is violated then we are going to call the manager okay we are going to call the manager when when the employee salary right greater than supervisor salary we are just going to call that manager in this the events will be taken care by the events will be taken care by before or after the updation or insertion or deletion the ins the assertions and triggers will be taken care by dml we know that what is dml is it is for insert delete and update right while we are doing this operations in the particular relation then it will be happen while the condition is violated we are going to call the manager when the salary of the employee is greater than the supervisor salary th that event may be happened before the updation or after the updation or insertion or deletion somewhat okay now we can call it as e c e 
in triggers we have events conditions and actions okay we are going to do one event that there may be an insertion deletion or updation okay then we are giving some conditions that is the salary of the employee should not be greater than the salary of the supervisor okay if the condition is violated then it going to take some action right it's going to take some actions i will show you the example for this here we are creating the trigger right trigger with the name of salary violation okay salary violation this is also is going to take and carry the dvms right before insert or update on salary supervisor assessment on employee okay this is the event what the event is going to happen this is the event okay then we are given the condition that the no the salary should be less than that is the employee salary should be a less than the supervisor salary it does that condition if this condition is violated then we are going to inform to the manager action the manager is going to take in care of here here the manager it will be handled by dbms only completely it will be handled by dbms right okay what will be if we have this two attributes already okay we are inserting one another uh, tuple to this relation okay while we are doing this if the condition is violated then the database update should be taken care by database right so we are while we can insert the new record or updating the salary or updating the employee supervisor in that events in these particular events we are using triggers okay for what we are using the tra uh, triggers for maintaining the records we should maintain some constraint records okay for maintaining the records for monitoring the databases for updating the databases in those particular situations we are preferring the triggers that uh, this is all about the triggers and then uh, uh, actions i hope you all clear in the conditions and assertions that we are going to give one condition if that condition is violated then we are calling the trigger the trigger is going to call the manager the manager is going to take some events to uh, in the process of dbml that is insert or update or delete okay or update or delete in those events we are going to do the operations what is this process will be completely taken care of db okay this is used used for maintaining the process just monitoring the dbms and then to update the details we can do it by two ways one is before the event is taken care by before or after okay this is all about today's topics i hope you all understand the video thank you for watching